Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today we have a very special snowboard specific workout utilizing a BOSU ball with very unique exercises, many of which that I made up myself and me explaining how they might benefit you on and off the mountain. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mark. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and snowboarder, and I provide you with snowboard specific workouts, rehab, tips, tricks, advice, uh, just to get you strong on and off the mountain, injury free, so you can perform at your top, at your very best. So, thanks for joining me. It is nearly the winter season. We're about three months away, so now is the time to start your training. If you didn't already know, I created a very specialized workout for snowboarders called Shred 3.0. It's the third version, arguably the best that I've created just to make you more durable overall. Check that out in the link in the description below. I spent months working on this, talking to experts, taking my own expertise, doing research, um, et cetera, et cetera, to create the ultimate, the best, the greatest snowboard workout that you can find on the internet today. We'll go ahead and just start with a simple high knees like so, good, you can go up and back. We're getting our glute, hip flexor activated, warmed up. If you wanna go long, keep that knee extended, you can as well. Notice I'm not bending with it, I'm really allowing my tissues to do the work. And go ahead and switch to the other side. Good, and then Extend that, don't force it. If you have tight hip flexors, just stop short of pulling anything. And you can do the same thing side to side, abduct, adduct. Good, other side. So we are gonna do a hip mobility movement. I'll show you what that means. Good, grab one knee, reach down, and again. So hamstrings, quads, glutes, and a little balance component to get that frontal cortex primed. So here, don't be worried if one side is easier than the other. Obviously it's, it is for me. Do your best. If you need to take a step in between, you can do that as well. Good, one more. Good, go ahead and lunge forward, hip flexor, glute, proud chest, back, hamstring, and again. Can you believe, let's see, it stays the 30th. It's almost winter, like three months. Crazy. Literally three months, which is wild. Good, switch sides. Forward and back. You can sit back on their leg if you want, if you can. Good, and again. Last one. Good. Go ahead and wide legged stance, child's pose. You can sit back and forward, moving forward. If this is uncomfortable, be careful, go slow. And then back, stretching those adductors. And forward and back. Go ahead and extend your left side and sit back on the right. Heel is completely down. And again, we're just working on those adductors. And then back in a wide-legged stance. Extend the right. Same thing. Good. Quick cat-cow. Into a yogi squat position. Bring one knee down, other knee, 
pushing your hips away for internal external rotation. Good, 50 seconds left and then we're gonna get started here. Last one. Good, so go ahead and do a little swimmer stretch. So I'm gonna get my BOSU ball ready. And our first movement is single leg hip mobility. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's do left leg first. And I'll show you what we do here in a second. So 45 seconds each movement. We're doing this one twice, one on each side and about 15 second break in between. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna drop down. Good. This, actually, I'm gonna go tall kneel on this. So forward, I want you to balance on that knee, bringing that foot over, bringing it back, tapping the ground, back into a tall kneel. Try to do that slowly though. And forward, stretching the hip flexor, core, is braced and back, toe tap or knee tap, foot over and forward. Last one, over, knee tap, over and again. And let's actually get a uh, hurdle this time. Let's do right side first. I'm gonna start back. My knee is kind of directly in the middle there. Here we go. In three, two, one. So tall kneel, we have this nice balance tool, with the BOSU unstable surface. Good. We really allow those tissues to do the work in that range of motion. My foot is not on the ground, by the way, in the back. And then back up. Good, and really see how far you can move your hip into internal, external flexion extension. Coming back and then driving back up into that tall kneel position, bringing that foot over, drive forward, stretching the hip flexor and rest. Good job. Okay, ISO squat kettlebell handoff. So we're gonna turn this over. I'm gonna face you. So ISO squat, we're getting an isometric squat. And I'll show you what we're doing here. So isometric squat, and we're handing that kettlebell. So we get that isometric contraction like you would in any squat position. We keep that core activated with the kettlebell handoff. And that somatosensory coordination an aerobic activity from holding the squat. <sighs> Obviously you can see it. I'm shaking, I'm working. See if you can go a little bit faster. Good, and rest. You could probably get pretty heavy with that kettlebell if you wanted to. All right, get some kettlebells here, or sorry, dumbbells. We're doing the dead bug with weight. It's a dead bug on my back. I'm gonna go forward a little bit. So opposite arm, opposite leg, but maintaining balance with that core activation. And I'm only using 10 pounds, but that's enough. especially when I draw that upper extremity weight back in. We use, utilize that anterior sling across the body. Good. All right, next one. High plank rollers. So another core shoulder-based isometric movement. 
just like it sounds. High plank, chest directly over, and I'm rolling the kettlebell so I have my shoulders stacked, getting some strength there. My core, obviously isometric contraction. But I make this harder by adding that roll in because that weight has to shift. I have to keep that core contracted. If I wanted to bring my hands in a little bit closer, I could do that as well. Let's go the other way. Notice I'm trying to keep my bottom down when I come back. Requires that I contract that rectus a little bit, a little bit more than normal. All right, cross, clean, and march. So cross, clean, let's do right side first. So cross my body, clean. So we're gonna get the hang of this. And again, good. And again. So we really force that power in this unstable surface. Across our bodies, moving our bodies, again, in unconventional ways. This is a full body movement. Last one. And obviously is very challenging to balance. And this is about 20-ish pounds with the kettlebell. So let's try it left side. This one's gonna be a little bit more interesting. My left side is a little bit more challenging from previous injuries. Here we go. Woo! That's okay, it's okay to fail. That's not the point. I'm still getting the same amount of work as if I were to stay in a balanced position and that will get better over time. I'm doing my best to drive up through my chest versus just utilizing my low back while keeping this weight close to my body. Good job. All right, we'll get better at that one, I promise. Bear crawl, thoracic rotation. So again, we're in that isometric core position. We're also stacking the shoulders. So bear crawl, we'll feel it in our quads. I have to move my hand towards the center. I can rotate under and over, and then I rotate again or switch. making sure that my hands and shoulders are stacked. Good. So I add that thoracic rotation in there as well. The coordination with having to switch hands and weight shift. All right, this one should be interesting. I know I keep saying that, but these are all kind of experiments. That's what I love doing most. So these are sled bounces. All right, so just like you would push a sled, same concept here. Except we're pushing a BOSU ball. You can almost call these frogs. So we get that lower extremity strength, kind of an isometric contraction again. It's really our shoulders that have an eccentric component to stop that momentum moving forward, just like you would falling into the snow. Good job, okay. 45 second rest break. Grab some water if you have it. I don't think mine's here, but. And then we're gonna start again into round two. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab my water real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, 10 seconds, here we go. So we start over, back to the hip mobility. Let's do, yeah, let's just start right side first. Here we go. Tall kneel. Foot forward and back. And it's okay to use your arms as balance. You can make this harder doing it without Personally, I don't think I can. I do notice though, if I keep my core engaged, it connects that lower extremity from upper extremities, making this movement a lot easier. And last one, good. All right, switch over. Right side, here we go. Or left side, I should say. And forward and back. And drive. You can see I'm really concentrating here. Focusing on one spot. And forward and back. And up. This is actually a great movement for starting any type of leg day that you might have. Just gets the brain and body connected. Good. We're primed and ready. All right. Here we go. Kettlebell isometric handoffs. So we get here. So you can hear me breathing. If you need to take a break, you can do this. But when you're ready, I want that kettlebell hovering above the ground. Keep going. Even if you feel the burn, keep going. Almost done. Good job. All right, next one. Dead bugs with the weight. Here we go. I feel like I'm on a water bed. This is primarily Core movement. Keep your core engaged. Oh, we add the dumbbells in there to isolate those lats as well. You really see how much you compensate doing this on flat ground. All right, that one's fun. Okay, high plank rollers. I'm sweating. Here we go. If being on your wrist hurts, you can make a fist. And I'm really forcing that rolling now with my shoulders, shifting that weight. Let's go the other direction. I'm going on my tiptoes, I don't know if you can see that. Don't hold your breath. 
We can switch again. Two, one, rest. Good job. Okay, cross cleans and marches. All right. These ones were tough, but that's okay. We like challenges. Here we go, so reaching across my body, driving, keeping that weight close, okay? If you wanna get a little bit more challenging, add the press in at the end as well. I'll keep it as a march. So I notice my weight is back, which is keeping me off balance. If I keep my weight forward, especially in my forefoot, makes it a lot easier. Not a lot, but good. Here we go. Don't need a ton of weight to make this a challenging exercise. I always encourage, and I still do, heavier weight movements, compound movements, clean squats, presses. But I always love to implement work like this that really requires our entire mind and body and is actually very, very challenging. Because again, we're training in ways that we don't normally train. Testing your body and mind so when we encounter these situations, they're not new. We're foreign. Our bodies can adapt so we avoid injury. Good. See, that was getting easier, I told you. Okay, two left. Bear crawl with thoracic rotation. Hope you enjoyed these. I'll do these from the side this time. So remember, hand in the middle, bear crawl position, reach, and reach. Let me see what my form looks like. I could probably get my knees a little bit lower, make this harder. Make it harder by having a more powerful weight shift. Hopefully your legs feel it. Mine do. Last one. Last one. All right. Sled bounces, okay? We are nearly there. I'm sweating. Here we go. I tried to really lunge for that one to see what it felt like. Good. Keep going, keep experimenting. You could even go to the side if you wanted. And again. Make it fun. Oh, I felt that one. Okay. Proof. Proof is in the pudding. I don't know if you can see that. Not really, but I'm sweating. Whew, okay. Good job today. So that was like 20, 25 minutes. Not bad. And uh, yeah, hopefully these were unique, inspiring. If you have a BOSU, I highly encourage you to try these. Um, if you try to look up BOSU while workout exercises, they're all generic, boring. They're good, but I like mixing things up, making things unique, keeping things spicy. I try to relate them snowboarding 
or physical activity or whatever sport you're into right now and how they might benefit you. But as always, thank you for joining me and I will see you all next week.